my soccer universe welcome to the last review video of this weekend i decided to go with the league from the european champions last my favorite league in many ways uh in many ways me going awol with my uh ocd or whatever <laughs> Uh, a, I thought, yeah, uh, whatever I put here, this will be now the background for the next few days. Let, let it be Italy for a change, because usually, usually Spain and Portugal, which I'm not too, uh, you know, I'm a little bit tired of it, <laughs> to be honest. And I love my Italian collection the most. And then the way I chose the jersey, and I did it, and I mentioned it once one, one more time, I decided to rearrange it so that you always get the winners and the losers of the past weekend. Uh, so winners up loses more here uh, and so and so it that way this also will give us every week a slightly different background and you know Serie A is just so beautiful with many colors and so on uh, that I, I just have to uh, I had to find a different way and it's easily quickly computed in in the code so uh, that was not hard either however I have 15 teams I have 13 slots, I didn't want to put a 14th one on there, so the biggest loser doesn't make it, Lazio. And then me completely crazy, uh, I just I had to say, okay, which team do I choose? Shall I choose Napoli? Shall I choose Give Torino its first outing? Uh, shall I... I was even thinking maybe Inter, and then I I already or, or, or an Inter would have been where now Juve is, and I'm thinking, no. I don't keep into there because that's right next to if I take a nap in the afternoon where I will be. No, I cannot sleep next to an Inter shirt. So it's better for me to wear an Inter shirt. I think it's the channel they debut for this admittedly beautiful Inter third jersey. Uh, it's a great jersey, but it's beautiful. I have to, I have to say, uh, and I don't say this easily. Inter do have some nice shirts. It's just the team. I'm a Milan fan. Cannot like Inter. Just cannot. But I do have two jerseys of theirs, and they might be more added to. Uh, enough of the silliness. Um, I, I mean, let's run through the games because I, I think there's no overarching theme there. Torino get actually a big win over Sassuolo. Sa, so, uh, so big that is, they are the big winners of the weekend. Fiorentina also continued their very good start. Is Fiorentina back? We will see uh, today. They play against Inter. Uh, that against Genoa didn't seem problem. Inter against Bologna, I was actually a little bit looking forward to that one because I thought Bologna had also a pretty good start. Maybe uh, they can give Inter some counter and we'll get some uh, good game. Nope. Like against Genoa at home, Inter looks very impressive. Away from home, so far the form was not so great, but at home in the league, Absolute dom dominance. Lautaro or in a six minute give 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 them the one nil. Then I think Bologna was in the in the game. As soon as Skriniar had it in from Di Marco header, and a few minutes later Barella made three nil. Not only was the game decided, I also decided now nah, I'm not gonna watch this any, any, anymore. And I was happy that I then uh, switched over to uh, current Leip Leipzig because it was a really 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 good good game. But it was a very impressive performance by Inter. A ruthless, uh, having fun. Playing also in the new third jersey, that's why I'm wearing the last season's third jersey to me. This one is a little bit too colorful, but that's for the Serie A jersey review, which uh, yeah, uh, we'll see. will probably come somewhere in November, I would see. Uh, Inter continued the route with Vecino and then Jacko adding two more. I think the last one from Jacko, that was uh, a very well taken uh, shot from a very difficult angle and only very, very late um, is uh, Bologna pulling one back. Bologna a little bit in trouble. I actually managed to watch the second half, or most of the second half, from uh, and a little bit of first Salernitana Atalanta. We have had to say, especially uh, given their performance in the second half, uh, Salernitana will feel a little bit hard down by that they lost that game to Atalanta because they had a few good chances uh, early on in the second half. Great crowd, although not full, but there was always noise there. So that was a, a main reason because I want I I, I want to see a. I have never seen a game live from Salerno, so I thought, yeah, uh, that might be a good chance. Zapata get, getting the win at the end and probably could have been 2 0, but this would absolutely not have been fair. I actually thought that Salernitana should have uh, gotten a point out of there. Sampdoria also big win, 3 0 uh, at, at Empoli. Venezia lose at home to Spezia. That hurts a little bit, to be honest. Um, Cagliari with Walter Mazzari now at the helm after, you know, they were one of two teams that fired the coaches, the other one being Verona. After three games in, please, this doesn't make any sense, Italy, be sensible. Yes, you might get a little boost here, Cagliari gets uh, an equalizer. Uh, 
Lazio having a horrible week, starting with their absolute being outclassed against Milan, losing to Galatasaray, and now uh, only a draw against Cagliari. Lazio maybe hitting uh, a rough stretch. Also, the magic gone for Roma. They lose at Verona, uh, where Igor Tudor comes back. I don't know why you fired the coach after three games, but it seemingly worked. If you want to watch only one highlight from Serie A this weekend, watch this game. There were at least two goals of the year in there. The first one by uh, Lorenzo Pellegrini, who has, is outstanding at the moment, uh, was a back heel on a spin move, an absolute magic goal. Uh, Carl stopped uh, the cross in and he kind of uh, jumps, spins and hits it with the back heel into the net. A wonderful goal that uh, only in the replay you actually can really appre uh, appreciate the uh, beauty of it. However, Verona comes to Storm back and Barak and Cabrari already scored pretty, pretty two goals. Then an own goal by Illich in the 58th makes it 2-2 and makes me kind of... Why did not I watch this game? I don't actually know. Did, did, no, I, I watched um, <laughs> Spurs against Chelsea. Yeah, bigger game. Uh, but then the winner in the 63rd, so there was a, a, a short period, 49th to 63rd, where four goals were scored. By Faraoni, a wonderful shot. I mean, uh, nicely see uh, by, by, by Simone, but the way he takes a shot from, from Faraoni, that might have been the best goal. And the Pellegrini goal was really, really, really magic. But the Moo magic is gone for Roma, at least temporarily. Um, let's see if they can recover from that, that, that one. Juve Milan, a game of two halves, and it, it seemed like uh, the pitch was tilted towards the right side. First half, I mean, it started well for Milan, despite not having no Ibrahimovic, no Giroud, and a very weird uh, lineup where, yeah, you didn't have Calabria, but instead of bringing Florenzi, you play Romagnoli Chiara in the center, and then Tomori outside, who does not put, uh, you know, who basically just tries to close down the space, but never makes the runs that Calabria makes, and so there was never, which kind of completely an, an, annihilated any hopes that Salamakers has going forward, so the right side for Milan was completely done, and this is where Juve kind of hit them, but uh, also Juve played with a lot of intensity, and yes, it was maybe lucky because um, I think it was in the third minute Tonali takes a shot that gets a, big, a, a deflection because otherwise I think this would have gone well in. And from that corner kick, uh, Tio Hernandez doesn't clear it well. The ball comes to Dybala who won time, times to Morata, uh, still in his own half, who is then free on goal. Uh, only Tio Hernandez behind him uh, and he makes a run, not a straight run, but kind of puts Hernandez in, in a situation that if you foul me, this is a red card. Uh, and then he keeps his calm and scores uh, the 1-0. And from that moment on, it was Juve, Juve was fully in the game and dominated the game. And Milan really needed, needed to settle uh, there. And I think maybe towards the end of the half, they had a little bit more, but I actually I felt that the lead for Juve at the half was um, quite good. However, uh, Simon Kier had to come off, which I don't like, but then Kalulu came, came on. Now you had, Roma, uh, now you had a dynamic player on the outside, and that was the first uh, time that Milan then got back into the game. Uh, and then uh, bringing on Benazer for Kessie, who is, yeah, contract talks, I don't want to talk too, 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 too much about it. Then Florenzi also um, in, gave Milan then a lot of stability. They took control of the game. Uh, I felt a little bit sloppy going forward. Then uh, also Rebic getting a little bit too involved, so I thought, yeah, maybe with some luck there could be a uh, one one, but I actually felt after having watched Lusk in the uh, before that this felt a little bit like yeah you you is gonna get that lucky win, fortunately not at the point where I actually thought that you would will, will deal not a, a death blow with bringing on Ken, Moise Ken and uh, Chiesa, a Tonali beautiful Tonali corner and Rebic can head 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 in uh, where yeah I don't know what um, Locatelli lets him just go, it was an easy goal for that. And then at the end, I think Milan could have even won it. Uh, I mean, Kalulu had a big chance where Jesse pulled out a great save. Uh, but I think on balance, the draw is all right. Uh, you, I think for Milan, I'm fine with that draw. I mean, sure, I would have, I would have loved another win. Uh, for Juventus, four games, no wins. Find yourself in the relegation zone. And again, second half, kind of a, a fall off where Chiesa, Kulusevski, Moise Ken, I mean, those should be... Players that make a difference, no, they didn't. 
absolutely not. This was um, rather tame from them. And then um, we had the two Milan teams up, up top and Napoli joins them with a very emphatic 4-0 win yesterday. Didn't see much, but uh, all Jimen Bramani, Kulkulibal uh, and Lozano scoring the four goals. And Napoli is also a team we have to watch out for. So that was it for me from Serie A Statscast coming uh, in the afternoon, uh, where you get from all the leagues uh, the numbers, projections, whatever I produce out there. In any case, let me know what you thought about the weekend in Serie A. Uh, give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel, want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!